Hello, thanks for joining me today. This is a special healing experiential working with anger or working with energy in the body that you want to release. You can listen to the full podcast about anger as well as check out the other healing experientials that are offered within this podcast at candicewu.com slash anger. Hello and welcome. You're listening to the Embody Podcast, a show about remembering and embodying your true nature, inner wisdom, embodied healing, and self-love. My name is Candice Wu, and I'm a holistic healing facilitator, intuitive coach, and artist sharing my personal journey of vulnerability, offering meditations and guided healing support, and having co-creative conversations with healers and wellness practitioners from all over the world. We've been talking about anger and how to reclaim the ability to use anger in our lives where it's appropriate and where we can reclaim the ability to use that, then we also reclaim power, trust, confidence, and the ability to assert what we want and need in our lives. As I mentioned in the full podcast about anger, that it's best to work with a trained professional who's trauma-informed, but these are a few practices that you can do on your own, and just a reminder to stay gentle with yourself and to take a break and pendulate or resource yourself when you need that. If you're unsure of what I'm talking about, I have recorded audio experiences that you can use to practice this. You can access those healing experientials at candicewu.com slash emotions. There's resourcing, safety, and pendulation. The thing about using both of those tools is that the anger or the intense energy can just move so much easier. If you don't mind really intense experiences, that's okay. You can try to power through, but I don't recommend it because we can move these emotions and energies through with much more ease. Today, we're going to work with lion's breath, which is a yogic technique, but it also aligns with working with screaming and releasing the energy of a scream or energy of the need to protect ourselves that can come with anger or that can come with overwhelm or the need to assert your boundaries. The thing about working with just one technique is that you might not be feeling the anger or this might not be the appropriate technique for you, for your anger to be expressed. It might want something completely different. So you can also check out the other two healing experientials that are following this episode, which is working with anger when you are angry with a person, anger in relationship. Working with that anger so that it's a little less intense before you actually approach a relationship if you do. And the third healing experience of working with the anger and seeing what it wants in all of the ways that anger might express itself or the protective energy might want to be used through the body. So that may be one where you can tune in and sense what your body specifically needs. But today we will work with lion's breath, which I think is really fun. So let's jump in. I invite you to begin by sensing inward. Notice your breath just as it is. Any emotions you feel. What's happening inside your body right now. And before we jump into what might be intense or unpleasant, sense into something that feels good, whether that's looking around and looking at something that feels pleasurable to look at, or imagining a person, place, or a thing that makes you feel safe. Let that wash over your body as if you're feeling it right now. Tuning into that connection with the pleasurable thing or the thing that makes you feel safe. And this will be your resource for today. When you're ready, recall an experience where you felt angry, 
irritated, violated, or where you needed to protect yourself. I would recommend choosing something that's light to medium, depending on your own experience with working with your own anger. If you feel more experienced and more embodied, choose what's right for you. And you may go for something deeper. But if this is new to you, try something that's mildly irritating. This could be a situation where you wanted to speak up but didn't. Or you wanted to say no to someone or tell them what you felt or make them stop doing something that you didn't like, or any situation that you just got triggered and felt upset and angry. As you imagine that situation, notice that you're here in the present moment, in your space, listening to my voice, and that you can stop and take a break anytime and sense into your resource. Now, when you're ready, take a deep breath in and fill up your lungs as if you're going to scream. And when you exhale, release the breath really loud or as loud as you can in your space right now, long, and stick your tongue out at the same time as far out as it goes. It'll sound something like this. And let your tongue stick out for as long and as far out as it can go as that energy of anger or irritation or expression comes out. As my teacher called it, the red energy. Feel the muscles in the face working and feel the breath moving through your body. And repeat this as many times as you want to. And the next time you do it, add in your hands. If you bring your palms face up as if they're forward from your body, like you're saying, oh, not me, or stop. The next time you breathe out with the lion's breath, use your fingers by tensing them up and bringing them to as if they looked like claws, like lion's claws and feel the muscles in the arms and fingers work and activate notice any sensation that comes up or through the arms some people feel tingling heat tension move some people feel tears or a huge release some people want more And while you're doing this, you can imagine the situation that you brought up. And you can imagine the kind of scream or release that might feel completely satisfying in that situation. If you're in a space you can't make much noise, that's okay. Because you can imagine in your mind the volume or the kind of roar or growl that would be needed for your body to feel satisfied in this situation that you're recalling. In this moment right now, the impulse of your body and this anger. You can even imagine you're a tiger or a lion or some animal that's growling and showing its teeth or that you're a person and you're screaming your head off. But imagine the impact that you have on the situation as you've screamed or as you've growled and given the energy, sent the energy out of back off. I mean it. Feel everything that's happening in your face, in your throat, in your jaws, your teeth, your eyes your fingers, and your arms. And allow whatever you're feeling to move, evolve, and be felt. 
And whenever you need a break, release your hands. Come back to normal breath. Open your eyes if they're closed. Sense the space you're in and come back to your resource, the thing that felt safe, person, place, or thing, or just looking at something in your space that feels pleasant to look at. And let yourself take that break. And if you choose to go back and see if there's more, tune into the thing that you felt angry about, or that irritated you, and just check to see the intensity level of this emotion now. Is it the same? Has it changed? And if you want to, if there's a desire from the body, from the inside, to do more, you can play with it. Repeat this as many times as you'd like to. And check in with yourself often to see if you're feeling overwhelmed. And if you are, take a break. And if you sense this, the moment before you're overwhelmed, it's a great idea to take a break there. Just to let this energy move through with more ease, with more lightness. And remember to keep a level of playfulness with this. Imagine you're just playing with being an animal and reclaiming your wild self. But at the same time, using as much ferocity and protective energy as you desire. And practice it. You might use a, a mirror to see what your face looks like and to see if you can actually scare yourself. And when you feel complete with this, go ahead and go back to your resource. Sense what brings you safety or look at something pleasant and feel that all over again in your body. I'll give a little bit of silence here as usual in the healing experientials so that you can work with it a little more if you want or feel free to Click on the show notes where the healing experience begins, where the directions begin, and do the process over again. You'll know when this experiential ends when you hear the concluding music of the podcast. And as you move through more with yourself, if you choose to, feel free to sense my presence with you in the room. Sense my support and me cheering you on and being there with you.